Hello friends and welcome to my bathroom. Today I'm going to film a chatty get ready with me. How YouTube did that just sound? Um, this video is inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Jessica Braun. She does these chatty get ready with me's is what she calls them. So I'm stealing her um, idea. But really I'm just gonna, it's just a get ready with me. I'm just gonna do my hair, my makeup and get ready. I've got some filming to do today. I've got some errands to run and um, I'm gonna get ready before I do all that. So I figured I would film it and just chat with you guys. <laughs> I don't think I've been more YouTube ever. So let's get started. So first things first, it's time to tame the hair. Um, this is second day hair. I washed it yesterday. So I'm gonna curl it, but before I do, I'm gonna put some dry shampoo and I just use the dry shampoo that everyone uses. That's very popular. Um, Batiste, I think is how you say it. So I literally, I usually get the um, brunette tinted one, but I couldn't find it at the store this time. So I'm gonna have to um, make sure this one is really nice and worked in, but who doesn't love a good dry shampoo, am I right? So I curl my hair really simply. I use this Conair curling iron. It's one of the um, clamps that doesn't go all the way up. It just, you clamp it at the bottom and then it acts as like a barrel curler. I have no idea how old this is or where I got it. I think this curling iron is probably 10 years old, at least. I know I've had it since I was 17. So it's definitely 10 years old, if not like 15 years old, okay? It is, I think a one inch barrel, it may be one and a half inch but it's a tried and true. We probably got it at Walmart for like $15 when I was 12. So it's still going strong and I love it. So when I curl my hair, I have a very thick mane of hair. And so I have to um, layer. I have to do it in layers. This clip is probably 15 years old too. Wow, I need to like revamp my hair stuff. Okay, so I just get I split my hair into two sections, this side, that side. And I like to work from the back. And I take just a little section. I clamp it in the middle. And I roll it up first. And then I keep it up. And hold it in place. And I just leave a little tiny bit out. I'm not like the girls that like to leave like this much hair out of their curl. I don't like that. Um, I just leave a tiny little bit out. So... And I just hold it for like, I don't know, as long as I want. <laughs> and then I let it down. Look how nice that curl is. And yes, I hold my hair. I haven't curled my hair in so long. I haven't gotten ready in so long. I just like chill at home, do nothing, work in my PJs, don't put makeup on my face. You guys, oh my gosh, I have to tell you about my legs. My mother will die that I'm revealing this, but I've wanted to talk about it in a video for so long. This just must be the video to talk about it. So, you know, I am a very, very, very feminist. Like about as feminist as you could get, right? Like that, if I had to narrow myself down to one word, it would be that. Like I just really care about women. And I just think that the patriarchy is... A literal horrid construct that comes from the depths of evil despair and we just got to tear it down with everything we have inside of us right <laughs> but really I truly believe that so um I <laughs> one of the ways I've been fighting the patriarchy lately no that sounds so silly but really this is not a big deal at all but one of the things I've done since about the beginning of November is I watched, it was inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Sierra Schultze, who probably is my number one favorite YouTuber, okay? Um, she's freaking amazing and I love her so much. She just like, if I could have a channel, if I could replicate any channel out there, it would be hers. You should go watch her channel if you don't, she's freaking amazing. But she did a video all about body hair and for 30 days, she did not shave her armpits or her legs and she just like did it as an experiment to see like how, um, how she would feel. And 
it kind of transformed her thinking about it, of course. She was never like a um, stickler, like women have to shave their legs, like ew, body hair, that was never her. But she just wanted to see like how long she could go really and how she would feel like with her armpit hair grown out for 30 days and her leg hair grown out for 30 days. And it was just kind of a fun, silly experiment she did. It wasn't like super serious. But afterwards she had kind of a transformation where she was like, you know what? This is the patriarchy. Why are women conditioned to think that their body hair is gross and that they need to take care of it and that they shouldn't show it and that, you know, men are perfectly fine having body hair and that's not gross at all. That's just manly. But if a woman grows hair, my goodness, like how disgusting and horrible and anti-feminine, you know, like all these like horrible societal standards that have been set for women over decades and decades and decades that tell us that our body's gross and that the things that happen naturally to our body aren't right and we need to take care of them. Anyway, she had this whole revelation that inspired me and I was like, heck yes, women do not have to shave. That is a societal construct. That is a product of the patriarchy. And you know what? I'm not shaving. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Um, but so that was like early November. And since early November, it's now like, oh my God, it's February. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, I feel like it's still January, although January felt like it was 30 years long. Um, since November, I have not shaved my legs. Now I am a true like armpit shaver, just not because it grosses me out or like, cause I think women shouldn't show their armpit hair. Like I couldn't care less, but just me personally, like in terms of just cleanliness, I like to have a clean armpit. You know, I just, I don't like the hair right there. It tends to like make my armpits smell and I just don't like it. I like to have smooth armpits, but I decided not to shave my legs and I have not shaved them since November, and it's freaking awesome. It's awesome, you guys. So I'm obsessed with my leg hair. My mother thinks it is the most disgusting thing she's ever seen. She did not want to be seen out in public with me with my leg hair. <laughs> she wanted to make sure it was covered. My leg hair is so long, it's so soft, it's so dark. I look like a freaking woolly mammoth on my legs, and I love it so much. My favorite part about it, and yes, I'm going to show you my legs in a second. My favorite part about it is when I walk, I can feel the wind blowing through my leg hair. When I walk, I can feel the wind blowing through my leg hair. <laughs> it feels so nice. It's like very, um, I don't know, soothing. I like it. Okay, now that I've done one layer of my curls, I'm going to whoop, hairspray them. I don't really brush through them yet, by the way. Okay, before I move on to the second layer, let me show you this. <laughs> Do you see this leg hair? Do you see it? Also, wow, I'm out of breath just from heist, hoisting my leg up. I'll give you a better look, hold on. Look at this hair. I am a freaking Monkey, I love it. But you know what's so funny? This little section right here has barely grown anything. So it just looks like totally empty compared to like this mammoth hair. Look at this, this is a man's leg, right? That's what society would tell you, but not me. Women can have body hair, it's not gross. Talk about it, do it, live it, love it, learn it, be it. Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen? I know, I love it so much. It just makes me happy. Also, I think about shaving it every day and I'm like, yeah, shaving it would feel so nice. But also, then I would miss that breeze through my leg hair when I walk. <sighs> and women shouldn't have to shave. It shouldn't be gross, it shouldn't be a stigma, it shouldn't be a societal standard I have to adhere to to shave my legs. No, I reject that notion and serve you with my very hairy legs. And I'm happy camper. Okay, let's finish this hair, shall we? I'm curled, I'm hairsprayed, 
it's pretty much not hot. I wait for it just maybe like a minute or so. Um, so now that I've sprayed it, I get, I get Eric's ugly man comb and I just kind of lightly, very lightly comb through it just so it's not as like stark and spray it again. And I don't know if you saw, but I do the back piece. Um, when I split my third layer, I kind of section the back piece then and curl it all together so it lays nice and flat back here and makes like a natural crown at the back of my head. Um, I don't like tease it or anything, but that's it. That's the curls. So let's clean up our mess and let's go to my closet for makeup. That's my Miranda Sings voice if you didn't know. Hello and welcome to my closet. So my closet is where my vanity is. It's that big. I love my closet. So I'm getting my handy dandy makeup mirror that Eric gave me for Christmas that has a beautiful light. But look, I'm so sad. I took it to New York with me when I went to New York. Oh, hey, look, there you guys are. Ooh, that mirror is dirty. So I took it to New York with me and it broke in the plane. Okay, so let's get started with makeup. And first things first, if you guys are looking for a good moisturizer, actually, do I need to take my, nah, it'll blend. If you're looking for a good moisturizer, this CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF moisturizes throughout the day and helps restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides, niacinamides, and hyaluronic acid, oil-free AM. Get it? It's a target. No, CeraVe is like a really, really good skincare brand, and I love them because they're still really affordable. I used to do Aveeno because I think Aveeno is another good skincare brand that's affordable, but this just like takes the cake to Aveeno. You know what I'm saying? So I think I need a little bit more than that. Um, and of course, always moisturize your neck, people. Always. Okay, and also, can we talk about something real quick? It's called eye bags. I have such bad bags under my eyes. My mom always points them out too. Thanks mom. But I just, um, I'm going to show you my trick for how to get rid of eye bags because I know I'm going to sound crazy when I say this. I don't wear foundation. I barely wear concealer. If I have like a big giant zit that like needs some help, I will use concealer. But like I do not use any like face makeup on my face at all like ever unless I'm in a show um I just do eye makeup I just do I mean sometimes I'll do blush and highlight but really like that is that's if I'm getting dressed up okay I just don't like face makeup because I don't feel like number one I'm blessed with very good skin and I realize that some people you know that's a big insecurity for them and they feel like they need face makeup and that's great I'm not hating on face makeup at all if that's what you want and that's what makes you feel confident you do you also, oh, you look great without makeup too. You know, it's your choice, whatever you want to do. But my choice is that it just drives me nuts. I feel like I can't touch my face. I feel like I can't, I feel like I'm always having to like monitor how it looks. I feel like it's going to wear off throughout the day. Like I'm just, it's something I'm paranoid about. And I just, it's not worth it to me because I do have, I'm blessed with good skin. Okay. So let's do, oh, I will do my daily. I'm using the Grande Lash and the Grande Brow. Eric got me these for Christmas to make my brows um, thicker and fuller. I'm doing an experiment video on this, testing out both this eyebrow growth serum and the eyelash growth serum. Um, it's going to be like a three month long process. I'm in the middle of month two, I believe. So that video won't be out for a while, but I do use this every day and I am seeing results. I can't wait for you guys. <clears throat> My voice is going. I can't wait for you guys to see that video when it eventually does come out um, because the transformation is real, y'all. And it's only been a little over a month. So month three, I can't wait to see where I'm at. Oh, and now would be a good time as ever to say if you want to see that video and other videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. It really helps us out and um, helps our channel grow. So thanks for being here. Yeah. Okay, 
So I'm going to let those dry for a bit um, before I do anything else. So I will tell you, I use my favorite eyeshadow in the world is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I have all of her palettes. Well, pretty much all of them. I don't have like all the special edition ones, but I have all the like regular old ones. Um, okay, so, and I love them. They're the best eyeshadows in the world. So my trick for getting rid of these horrid bags under my eyes is I take the lightest shade in this palette. It's called Tempura. It's just a white, a cream white. I put it on the top of my lids as a nice base. And then I take it another whole pan full, brush full, and I put it down here all over my lid, like all over. And sometimes you kind of got to rub it in because you get too much, but it just helps brighten that area. Do you see the difference? Do you see bags? A little bit better bags. <laughs> okay, so then my favorite crease shade is Dusty Rose. You cannot see it very good at all, but it's basically like a light purple, like a lilac y color. And I take this all in my crease. Okay, then I'm going to take my favorite lid color, which is rose pink. You can probably. Hmm, can you see it in this light? Sort of. It's like a metallic y, um, rosy pink. Okay, then I'm going to take, okay, if you want to invest in some makeup brushes, Delium Tools is the way to freaking go. These are like, um, it's not going to focus. Am I a YouTuber now? Delium Tools. It's spelled B-D, so it's really weird. It's got to be some foreign company, I don't know. But Makeup artists use these brushes a lot, and um, they are literally the best brushes ever. They come in cute colors, but I'm just taking a dark color and putting it under my eyes. Let's do my brows now that that serum has had a chance to dry. Okay, my eyebrows are looking a little groucho marks right now, but that's all right. They won't once I get the rest of my face on. All right, eyeliner time. I love putting on eyeliner, anybody else? All right, I've yet to find a dupe for this. So I buy the expensive stuff. I buy the Stila Stay All Day liquid liner. This one's in like black is black or some intense black. Um, it stays on exactly where I put it all day long. It doesn't bleed. It's super easy to put on. I love it so much. I've tried so many drugstore uh, supposed dupes and none of them are as good as this. Or stay as long and I just do the tiniest little line tip if you're trying to perfect how you put on eyeliner start in the middle and just do tiny little baby strokes okay and then I'm going to curl my eyelashes I feel like mascara is like my last step that makes my look come together you know oh like, if I could choose one makeup product, like, that I could only wear one makeup product for the rest of my life, I would probably choose mascara. I don't know. I might choose eyebrow. Nah, I'd probably choose mascara. Because it's just so transformative, you know? By the way, I like to get mascara on the tops and bottoms. So I do one little pass over the top. And then I do the, um... And by the top, I don't mean the top row. I mean the top of my top row lashes, like the upside. And I do a couple coats of this. This is my favorite mascara. It's the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I do waterproof just because I, don't, I like to set my makeup and like forget about it. I, I don't like to have to mess with it during the day or worry about it running or anything like that. So I get waterproof. The only thing about this mascara that I will say is you have to replace it more frequently than other mascaras I've had in the past because it does tend to dry out, but it's just so good. It fans out my lashes. It coats them nicely and thickly, but 
it doesn't overpower them. I just love it. It's just easy to use, easy to put on. Another good tip that I've got for makeup <clears throat> is keep a little bin of refills. And especially on like cheaper drugstore products, a lot of the time Target or Walmart or wherever you buy them, Ulta even, will have like buy one get one 50% off sales. And so stock up. Stock up when stuff like that happens and just keep them in a little bin. Typically, every time I like run out and need to like go to the store to refill, I just buy two of whatever I'm getting. Okay, done. Okay, well, I'm done. I hope you, <laughs> you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me curling my hair and doing my makeup and chatting about my very hairy legs. Okay, down below in the comments, I want to know what go-to beauty product I need to try like what's your tried and true the one thing mine is probably my L'Oreal Lash Paradise um or my Stila Stay All Day but it's expensive it's like $25 um let me know down below in the comments what you recommend because I want to try it and um thank you guys for coming don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time bye